YouTube. Hi, YouTube. <clears throat> hey, YouTube. I've wanted to join you for like four years now, so. <laughs> hey. Uh, finally made a YouTube channel. Get to know me Q&A. Here we are. Let's get to know me. If you don't follow me on Instagram, maybe you don't know me that well, or maybe you do. And so let's just get to it. A lot of you, for some reason, asked my height. I'm five four and a half. Maybe that's tall. Maybe that's short. I think that's pretty average. I don't know. Next one was, what's my favorite kind of workout? That varies a lot depending just on what I'm feeling. I train very intuitively and obviously during quarantine gyms haven't been open so I've been running a lot. Earlier this year before quarantine I trained for a half marathon so I was already pretty familiar with running so I didn't have to start cold turkey during quarantine. But definitely running has been my favorite. It's just so mindless and honestly from a lazy standpoint all you have to do is just like move your feet really fast. You have a workout, just like that. But before quarantine, and now that quarantine's kind of over, um, lifting is probably my favorite. Someone asked how I trained for my half marathon. And I should probably make a whole video on this. That's a whole freaking video in itself because I was such a bad runner before I trained for my half marathon, I could barely run a mile. Somehow I did the dang thing, so. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I basically just started out by training three days a week, having two short runs and one long run. Over a period of time, I increased my long runs, kept my short runs the same. So like, I had run three miles, three miles, five miles, three miles, three miles, eight miles, three miles, three miles, ten miles. And then I would increase my mileage kind of like that. But that's basically how I did it. Towards the end, towards my half marathon, I was getting close, oh my gosh, 28 to 30 miles a week. It was really hard on my body. I definitely paid the price because my hormones didn't like it at all. <laughs> so, <laughs> dealing with that right now. Love that for me. You know, we live and we learn. We're not doing that again. I learned my lesson. Or now that I look back on it, I definitely probably should have ate more for how much I was doing. Anyways, I can make a whole video on that and I will. So next question is, what's my dream job? And that's a great question because I have no freaking clue. I don't know, I don't know. And it stresses me out that I don't know. Cause I feel like a lot of people my age know and I don't. I could see myself being so many things. I know what I don't want. I know that I don't want to be stuck sitting at a desk all day, staring at a computer. I'm such like a anxious, high energy kind of person. I need to be doing things all the time. But I don't know, I could see myself being, like if money didn't matter, I want to be a kindergarten teacher. I would love to deal with like a little a handful of like 25 to 30 children and I would love to be in charge of that susceptible age of learning like being a part of their lives and I love kids and I I can't wait to have my own kids so maybe be a mom that might be my dream job that's my dream job so I don't know <clears throat> now that I kind of think about it I'm so picky with like my athletic clothes things I wear to work out and I'm I know what I want and maybe I'll start a clothing company. I know what I want, I know what I like, and I think I create some good products. Who knows? You know? You know what I'm saying? <coughs> Next question. What do I eat in a day? I get this question actually kind of a lot, and I should probably be better at sharing it on Instagram. I do an okay job, but I should just share it more like what I eat in a day. I'll do it on YouTube now that I've started this. I'm actually gonna record that this week. I was gonna do it today, but that kind of got ruined. My day got all thrown off and it just wasn't gonna work out, okay? For my first full day of eating, I wanted to make it a little better. So I think I might do it either tomorrow or the next day. I don't really keep a lot of junk food in my house. If I want something like that, it has to be something that I'm willing to go and drive out and get. That's just what works for me. I don't keep things that I know I'm gonna either overeat on or I really, really, really like and I want a lot of, that's just what works for me. Out of sight, out of mind. If 
I want it, I have to drive out and get it. And most of the time, I'm too freaking lazy to do that. So I don't get it. Okay, but. <laughs> am I single or taken? I'm single. How old am I? I turned 20 July 17th. So kind of soon. <laughs> I don't celebrate them that much. Yeah, but I'm 20. No, 19, turning 20. Who are my favorite artists? My favorite artists, I was actually thinking about this the other day. Drake, ASAP Rocky, old Drake and ASAP Rocky, and then Chris Stapleton. Those three, definitely my favorite. Am I an introvert or am I an extrovert? I am an introvert. Believe it or not, I don't know if I come off as an introvert or an extrovert, but I'm definitely an introvert. I love my alone time. I love being alone. I love my own company. Nothing more I can ask for. Shout out. I love me. Nothing wrong with that. I think that's great. Tell me about your time at UCLA. <laughs> I need to make a whole video on that too, but in short, it was awesome. I learned so much. I just... <laughs> Honest to God, I just didn't like softball. My junior year of high school, I knew I didn't like softball. I knew I didn't like softball, but I had to go to UCLA and find out, see if some spark could have been reignited, but it didn't. I just would have had regrets if I would have quit soon before I went. I thought I could have turned it around, but I didn't. And honestly, at that high of level, like, at that high level, you have to be all in or it's just miserable. I was not all in. I did not love it like the other girls did. I just feel like I had evolved out of something that wasn't me anymore. I had felt like that for like years, since my junior year. I finally realized it's okay to not be what you once were, I guess is what I'm trying to say. It's okay to not be what you once were. That just hit me so hard. Maybe one of you need to hear that, but... You don't have to be what you once were. It's okay to grow out of that. Like, you don't have to love what you once did. That's part of life. You can grow out of things. I grew out of softball, and that's perfectly fine. It is what it is. I don't regret it at all. I feel I am such a different human than I was, like, a year and a half ago. Yeah. I wouldn't change it, though, for the world. Oh, my gosh. I would not go back and change a thing because that's what got me here. I wouldn't have all this, like, I wouldn't have this perspective. I wouldn't change it. <laughs> Next question. Wow, I rambled for so long. What am I majoring in now? Did someone ask that? So when I was at UCLA, I had no freaking clue. I thought I was gonna do physiological science, but then I changed it to, honestly, I don't know why. I changed it to actuarial math. <laughs> I don't know. I thought I was gonna be an actuarial math person i don't know i don't know what i was thinking but uh yeah i went to ucla going to be actuarial math i transferred first of all yeah i transferred to asu and i was like you know what i want to do engineering women aren't in engineering and i love math i'm just gonna go for it because i never go for what i think I'm capable of. You know, like I never thought I'd, I was capable of being an engineer. You know, I always looked up to them and I was like, wow, I can never do that. I got home after I transferred and I was like, why can't I? Why not? So I did, I did the dang thing. I majored in engineering management and that was in with the computer science -y kids. And then I was like, wow, me learning how to program, <laughs> not a thing. No, that's not happening. I took all my courses for computer programming and I just could not get it, you guys. It's like a whole nother language. It either clicks with you or it doesn't. It was not clicking with me. It wasn't really what I thought it was gonna be. I wanted it to be kind of like a blend with business, engineering, management. I thought it was gonna be kind of a blend with business and it really wasn't. So like a month ago, I think it was, I changed it to technological entrepreneurship and management. I hate to tell people my major because it sounds like being conceited, but that's what it is, okay? It's still in the engineering school and it's in the business school. It's like a dual degree, if you want to call it. It's in both schools, if you know what I'm saying. That's my degree. Long story long. <laughs> Next question is, how has quarantine been so far i think that's such a nice question to ask 
Thank you for asking that, first of all. I feel like quarantine has really, people may not realize it, it's secretly been like a blessing in disguise. I feel like it's given us the time we didn't know we needed to be alone in our own thoughts. Just settle in our own thoughts, you know, and think about things. And for me, it's taught me, especially with how I eat and my relationship with food and working out, it's taught me so much about <sighs> what balance really means in the grand scheme of life. It's really not that serious. If you don't work out for two months, if you didn't work out during quarantine, if you really didn't, if you didn't do much, if you weren't on your fitness game or your diet game or whatever you want to call it. It's really not that serious. In the grand scheme of life, who cares? Who freaking cares? I feel like that's a quarantine song. It really doesn't matter. It's really about what you do over the long term. If eating healthy and living a healthy lifestyle is really part of your lifestyle. You shouldn't be going to extremes and then worry that you're not gonna be able to meet those extremes. If you were living that healthy, balanced lifestyle, you wouldn't think twice about it and it would just be second nature. You know what I'm saying? What are my pet peeves? I feel like I don't have very many pet peeves. I, I feel like I understand why people, like everyone's different, everyone has different behavior. But like it doesn't bother me, like we're all different and people do have different tendencies. <sighs> the one thing that comes to mind is like when people are closed-minded, if someone won't even try f like a piece of food, like they've never tried it and they're like close-minded to even trying it, that, that frustrates me a lot. It's like their way is right and they're not even open-minded to understanding a different perspective or anything. It's frustrating because like there's so much to, so much to know. It's just so frustrating to have a conversation with someone who's closed-minded. If you guys have ever com had a conversation with someone who's closed-minded, it's just like, it's literally not freaking worth it. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Next question. Oh, back to softball. What position did I play? When I first started playing and growing up, I was a middle infielder, so I was shortstop and second base. I love playing second. That was probably my favorite. Since I was fast, when I got older, I played outfield I was fast, I had a lot of range, but center field was definitely my favorite um, position. But I, I played wherever. You could have put me as a catcher. I mean, <laughs> I was just out there for a freaking clumsies at that point. My junior year of high school, I really didn't have a passion on the sport. I tried my best. I really tried my best to fake it till I make it. It wasn't happening, you know? I was so out of alignment from who I was. It couldn't have been endured for any longer if that's the right word one of the last questions is something you wish you were better at oh my gosh so many things i wish i could sing I could dance but the one thing that comes to mind i wish i was better at reaching out to my friends sometimes i feel like i get so focused and like dialed in to like my schedule and my routine like, i forget to look up and i forget to enjoy what's in front of me <sighs> i'm either always thinking about the past or i'm always thinking about the future and i really freaking struggle at just living in the present that's probably something i wish i was better at i think that's gonna conclude this video i hope you guys enjoyed first get to know me if you liked it like it okay <laughs> i'll see you guys in the next video i love you guys so freaking much i'll see you